Hello my friends, it's Gabriel with The Last Huntsman Outdoors here. It's going to be another little rant here. Got the little mini Huntsman with me. Just going on a little bit of a walk. Probably not going to be the most organized video or anything, but just kind of out here doing some thinking. I kind of want to talk about what I'm going to call the two World War Threes. So, there's the obvious overt and covert World War Threes, and I don't think most people are seeing it. And so that's why I'm doing this little rant. It's gonna, gonna kinda go off the deep end a little bit, and if you're a state-run media watcher, then it's probably gonna go above your head, but if you actually kinda look into things and understand things and kinda have a little more deeper spiritual, uh, intellectual ability, then this video might make more sense to you. So, right off the bat, we see the obvious overt World War III that they're trying to push and with all the Ukraine and Israel stuff and both of them, in my honest opinion, has nothing to do with the United States, but of course, the United States being Babylon and of course we got the synagogue of Satan involved over there. The United States is probably gonna get involved one way or the other. I think the only thing that they're lacking right now, just like World War II, most people were not really interested in even the slightest in World War II until they did Pearl Harbor, which, you know, you can kind of look into that and that was pretty well allowed to happen. And the truth of the matter is we were already involved in World War II before we got officially in World War II. And the same thing's happening there. And of course, the powers that be, they want the ritualistic meat grinder and all the able-bodied men to just go and feed the meat grinder. But I think what a lot of people don't realize is that there's a covert World War III happening at the same time. And I think we've been getting glimpses of it for a long time. I think the biggest glimpse of it that we've seen out in front of us was during COVID. But what we're also seeing, and this is just me kind of going off the deep end a little bit here, is that all the governments, all the banks, and all the corporations of the world are all in lockstep and going against their own people. We see every government in the world importing mass hordes of people to replace their population. We see every government in the world stripping property rights of their people. We see every government of the world pushing taxes into taxing the actual people of their host nations into oblivion. We see every government in the world in no way, shape, and form actually representing their own people. And in fact, you see many of our politicians here in the United States taking foreign money such as APAC and our dual citizens. So, kind of one of the things that I kind of want to point out here is yeah, we can go rah, rah, rah and all about the overt World War III, which I think the only thing that's holding the United States back from that is a Pearl Harbor type of event. What that actually entails, I don't know. I'm just speculating. I'm a guy out in the woods here. So, you know, take what you will from this. But they need a Pearl Harbor type of event to get the ritualistic meat grinder going to feed the uh, 
well, I'll just straight up say the uh, Nephilim powers that be that actually running things from behind and not the puppet characters that you think are actually running things. But I also want people to recognize that there is a covert World War III going on. And we actually, you know, not only did I mention COVID, we kind of seen it, but we also are seeing it currently with the like whole Hurricane Helen type of situation. Our own government is actively becoming the worst problem that people are dealing with out there even beyond the actual hurricane and devastation itself, they're being strong-armed. They're being strong-armed out of their potential property, out of their food and supplies and everything that they need. And of course, we already see the writing on the wall. The corporations and the banks which are all basically one of the same entity is coming in for the grab. And see, a lot of us have been hoodwinked into this idea that, oh, the right, you know, will blame the government for a lot of problems, which is true. The left will blame a lot of the corporations of the problem, which is also true. But none of them recognizes that it's the corporations, the banks, and the government, which are all basically of the same entity. And it's not even just here in the United States, which I think the United States is one of the most obvious and blatant about it. But it's everywhere else in the world as well. So at a certain point, you have to ask yourself... What kind of entity can take over every government, every corporation, and every bank throughout the world and have them all in lockstep doing the exact same thing? Just some food to think about, I guess. But yeah, this is just going to be a quick little rant. Kind of the tale of the two World War Threes. The overt in covert World War III. Because we're seeing it right now. Because, yeah, they're going to do the ritualistic meat grinder and get everybody rah rahing about all that. But it's the hidden hand that you might have to remember to pay attention to. Because while they got the able-bodied, capable men off fighting another man's war and just serving their own purposes anyway. We have to remember that they're actually... The real war isn't so far away, I guess I should say. So, as always, get up on your preps be prepared both physically and spiritually and really you know this is gonna kind of come hard on some people but i don't think there is any quote saving america at this point and that's a little different for me to say and especially you know my thoughts even like 10 years ago I even served this country. But what is this country anymore? It's not what I served for. And honestly, I think when you really kind of look back on it, it's kind of turning into what it was meant to turn into. And all the degeneracy and all the evil that the Babylonian spirit pertains to is extremely pervasive here especially. So, with that being said, 
it's probably going to be best to look after your own communities, after your own local areas, and stop focusing and worrying so much about the federal election, which I think is just a tabuki fraud to begin with. But all that being said, as always, be prepared both physically and spiritually. God bless and carry on.